Because it combines all the best qualities this region has to offer, Latvia is appropriately referred to as the heart of the Baltic. Modern multi-story corporate centers are located next to historic castles and palaces that date back hundreds of years and churches and cathedrals that preserve the mysteries of the past coexist with the historical architecture of the cities and the humility and charm of the villages. There are also several health facilities where you can use specialized techniques to efficiently enhance your body. Although exceedingly welcoming and committed to their long-standing customs, the locals are courteous and polite in the manner of Europeans. We made this video of the most fascinating sights in Latvia, especially for you if you are visiting for the first time and are unsure of what to see. Make sure to include these locations in your vacation itinerary to this country after becoming familiar with them. 1. The House of Blackheads one of the most representative sites and emblems of Latvia is the House of Blackheads in Riga. It frequently holds concerts, exhibitions, excursions, and other activities. The House of Blackheads was first established in 1334. Since the city's founding, this location has hosted several meetings and activities for Riga societies. The building was rented to the Blackhead Society by the end of the 15th century, after which it was later named. A group of young merchants called themselves Blackheads, and they had St. George as their patron saint until switching to St. Maurice, whose image of a black head appeared on the Brotherhood's coat of arms. The building's opulent front incorporates the ideals of various architectural styles from various ages. Luxurious interior features such as crystal chandeliers, painted ceilings, ruler portraits and carved gilt frames, the Brotherhood's coat of arms and vibrant stained glass windows draw attention inside in the representative chambers. Snuffboxes, paintings, jewelry, and ceramics are among the different props used by fraternity officials displayed in the museum. 2. Gaia National Park It is advised to set aside, possibly, a multi-day excursion to see some of Latvia's attractions all at once. You may find things to visit in Latvia at areas like Gaia National Park, which is spread out over 900 square kilometers in the valley of the River Gaia. The park reserve is the largest in Latvia and is noted for its diverse landscapes, numerous springs, cliffs, caves, rocks, outcrops of polychrome sandstone, and special natural and cultural monuments. There are more than 500 distinct attractions in the Gaia National Park in total, including ancient settlements, castles, churches, mills, estates, and numerous other architectural, historical, and archaeological landmarks. For those who enjoy outdoor activities, there are a number of parks, a vertical wind tunnel near Sigulda, a cable car jump, the Sigulda bobsleigh track, and other activities that will truly take your breath away. 3. Tarada Castle, Sigulda Sigulda is a lovely regional town located just 50 kilometers from the capital of Latvia. The venerable monument of Latvia from the 13th century, Tarada Castle, serves as its calling card. It once served as the bishop's residence, the headquarters of the Livonian order, and even had a garrison of Swedish soldiers. Since the fortress still bears the marks of antiquity, it currently qualifies as a museum complex, and a museum reserve is located on its grounds. The main tower of the castle is its most important and oldest component. Now it has an observation deck on its upper level and a museum display on its lower level. Exhibitions are hosted in the southern and western corp of the castle in addition to the tower. On the grounds of the museum reserve, archaeological digs continue to this day, and fresh discoveries are made that further the museum's collection. In addition to excursions, festivals, exhibitions, and concerts of classical and modern music are regularly organized at Tarada Castle, which is now a well-liked tourist destination. 4. Kemeri National Park The Kemeri National Park is situated next to the well-known Yermala in central Latvia, near the town of Zemgale. The park spans over 38,000 hectares, most of which are covered in forests and wetlands where sulfur-containing mineral water formed beneath a layer of soil. This location is well known for its extremely diverse flora and fauna, including more than 2,200 species of mosses, 850 species of lichens, 900 species of ferns, and more than 500 species of mushrooms. The Red Book of Latvia lists about one-fourth of the plants that are present in the park. A variety of birds can live in the reserve in extremely suitable conditions, and these birds are washed over using specialized towers. The exploitation of the healthful hydrogen sulfide springs led to the construction of a health resort in Kimeri Park. The springs were inaccessible for a very long time because of the swampy terrain and no roads were ever constructed to get to them. Kemri started to develop intensely as a resort though after the Russian Empire acceded to a portion of the park in 1783. 5. Old Riga, the city's historic district, is located in the center of the capital of Latvia. If you ever find yourself in this amazing location, you'll undoubtedly find something to do in Latvia, as Riga's primary attractions are centered on this relatively small area. 
Nearly all of Riva's old town is dedicated to prominent Latvian tourist destinations and the streets in this region are closed to through traffic. As a result, you may wander leisurely through this area while discovering the architectural landmarks and soaking up the history. It is worthwhile to start with old Riga whatsoever you intend to learn about Riga. One feels as though they have been transported back in time several centuries when they enter the city's winding cobblestone streets. Strict Gothic cathedrals coexist with charming medieval homes, old yards, numerous museums, and coffee shops serving amazingly delicious pastries. Styx, Aglona Basilica The major Roman Catholic shrine in Latvia is the Aglona Basilica. Every year on August 15, pilgrims throng to Aglona to commemorate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. The late Baroque Aglona Basilica has two towers that are roughly 60 meters tall. Rowan vaults, arcs, and columns inside the church have elaborate Rococo decorations. The church's furnishings date to the 18th century, and the early 19th century by altars were constructed. The church houses a collection of paintings, sculptures, and other works of art, including the 17th century icon, Our Miraculous Lady of Aglona, which is only displayed for viewing by the general public during religious events. The icon is thought to possess miraculous healing abilities. The miracles of Aglona are the subject of numerous stories. According to one of them, farmer Kristaps met Asens of the village of Spik who once brought his infant to Aglona for christening. He was paddling his boat through the rough waters of Lake Sirisu when a huge storm sprang up. The peasant failed to see his child overboard as he struggled to control his boat. He prayed to the Lady of Aglona after realizing the catastrophe and miraculously, his child was plucked from the lake by shoreline residents. 7. The Riga Dome Cathedral, a recognized representation of the capital, is located in the city of Riga in the center of the country on the Baltic Sea coast. The largest cathedral in Latvia serves as one of the country's most important spiritual hubs and hosts organ and sacred music recitals. The architectural complex also contains the Dome Monastery, the city's first maritime museum, and the Gallery of the Cross in addition to the cathedral. The grandiose structure's beginnings date back to 1211, when the first stone was set for a temple intended to represent victory in the conquest of Livonia. The cathedral's current interior layout is the result of 19th-century restoration efforts. It has a rather ascetic and austere Gothic design that is executed in white tones, with only a few long, narrow windows embellished with colorful stained glass and some opulent wood-carving accents that complete the decoration. 8. St. Peter's Church, Riga if you're looking for things to do during the winter in Lafayette, you may visit the ski resorts of Sigolda or Madonna. Or you can explore the lovely city of Riga with its historic castles from the Middle Ages. One of these buildings is the St. Peter's Cult Church, which sticks out against cityscapes with a tall spire topped with a rooster figure. Currently, it is a Lutheran church that holds services on a regular basis. On its unmistakable spire, which rises 71 meters above the ground, it's an observation deck with a stunning view of the landscape. The church was built in 1209, at which point it served as the primary temple for the affluent members of feudal society. The interior hallways of the pink brick building are sparsely decorated with laconic wood carvings and historical epitaphs. 9. Waterfall on the Venta River, Koldiga Despite the fact that Iguazu or Niagara Falls cannot be compared to, Lapia's Venta Waterfall is the widest in all of Europe. Although the height is very little, ranging from 1.6 to 2.2 meters throughout the entire breadth, it is around 110 meters wide and reaches 280 meters during high water. The water falls from a specific type of rapids, giving the waterfall its beautiful zigzag path. Fish trying to spawn regularly attempt to jump across river rapids at specific times in the fall and spring. Several centuries ago, this feature was used for fishing. Since then, Kaldiga has gained a reputation as a place where fish are caught right in the air, for instance during the salmon spawning season, 80 to 100 salmon can be caught each day. 10. Freedom Monument Riga Since the distances between Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are so short, traveling through the region allows for a single trip to see all of its attractions. Take the Tallinn Riga motorway instead as it passes a number of interesting locations. When you arrive in Riga, you can explore the Freedom Monument, one of the city's most important landmarks. This independence monument for Latvia is a homage to all those who dedicated their lives fighting for their nation during the Civil War. A 9-meter sculpture of freedom, a young lady clutching three stars to represent the three cultural and historical areas of Latvia, stands atop the 42-meter steel. A number of bas-reliefs depicting historical scenes and the most significant societal values decorate the monument's foot.